Today I am sharing the repotting of the cutting uh, of uh, begonia plant which I did uh, quite some time back about a month back. This is the cutting it has taken roots in this pot and uh, I am going to remove it from this and then uh, plant it in the other pot because now it, uh, it needs its own home. This is the second one. So let's do it. One has to be little careful while doing it uh, because the other uh, uh, these uh, small small plants are also there. They should not get damaged and we have to take it out with the root ball. Uh, whatever roots it has made we have to take it out with that root ball. So don't think friends that in this season you cannot repot, you cannot transplant, you can do everything. Uh, but you have to consider the temperature and uh, everything, the summer uh, conditions in mind and accordingly you have to manage. Uh, the roots should not uh, get exposed uh, to heat and uh, slowly you have to take out the plant. Now it is with its root and this is a small pot. The pot has to be earthen pot. In this heat, the plastic pot will not do, especially to, for this uh, begonia plant. And it is having its roots. Uh, lots of roots are there. I'm taking out this now. You see how I have taken out? All the roots are there, nothing is damaged. So these are two and pot is only one. So I am going looking for another pots, uh, the similar kind earthen pots and the small ones. This is the side area uh, friends where I do lots of work. So lots of things are there but I have found the pots also, the small ones. <laughs> Going back, this is my work area, you can call it the plant operation area also. So this remains little messy but it's okay. Lots of plants are there. This is the gate I am entering to my lawn area. This is the drive area. And this is my lawn area. This is a huge plant bed here. And the pothos. Then lots of green plants and flowery plants here. And here we come to our table where we are doing the transplanting of the begonia cuttings. Friends keep the soil very very plain just the garden soil is sufficient. Don't add any fertilizers at this stage because the plants don't need that. You know since we have just planted these and we want the roots to go deeper now. So uh, how we can do that? We can put the this small pot uh, inside a water filled plate. So what will happen? The water will go from downwards and the roots will get down further. They will go deeper. Now here I have put lots of stones in the uh, plate, water filled plate. Why friends? Because we all know that stones have minerals in them. So similar way I have uh, planted these uh, hibiscus plants also. They are also made uh, from cuttings. <laughs> 